In New York, some health leaders say the push to double mask in some settings should be considered after the UK variant of the virus was identified in Essex County. According to the CDC, this brings the total number of variant cases in the Empire State to 22. Local 44's Jolie Sherman now with the information you need to know. Through randomized sampling, a New York State Health Department lab identified Essex County's first case of the UK variant. And they go to the New York State lab called Wadsworth Laboratory. That laboratory takes those samples and maybe there's a variety more, but they identified a person or a sample that had this strain. The county's public health director, Linda Beers, says mutation is the next natural phase of COVID-19. I read some information that said that this virus has mutated like 50,000 times. Some strains don't matter, some don't stay. This one particularly has stayed. It was identified obviously in the UK. By March, health leaders say the variant may be the most prevalent strand in the country. Vermont's health commissioner, Dr. Mark Levine, says it's still too soon to tell if it's more deadly. Now it is believed it might be associated with not only more transmission, but with more severe illness. And per the UK findings, which need to continue to be peer reviewed and evaluated, perhaps increased mortality. But Dr. Levine and Linda Beer say it should serve as a reminder to continue practicing the same health guidance. And so what can we do about it? This virus is COVID. We know what to do with COVID. What do we do with COVID, right? We know this, we know it. And I can't say it enough, Essex County does it really, really well. We've kept our rates down because we get six feet apart, we wash our hands, and we wear our masks. Essex County even suggests double masking in settings where there could be increased risk, starting with the surgical mask, which are readily available, and covering that with the cloth mask. I think the message is if it's here, it's everywhere. Advice, she says, should guide our behavior going forward. And in Plattsburgh, city officials are following the county health department's lead. Plattsburgh Mayor Chris Rosenquist declined a Zoom interview with me and in a statement said, quote, Whether it be this more aggressive strand or not, we need to remain diligent as a community to reduce the spread of the virus. We are in constant conversation with the Clinton County Health Department and trust that they are directing us in the right way at the right times. He said the city won't take an independent position on how to operate. Jolie Sherman, Local 44 News.